So Europa is one of the four major moons of Jupiter. It's about the same size as our own moon, uh, but it looks very different. It's got a smooth, bright, white surface covered in these dark cracks and red patches. The reason for that, and what makes Europa so incredibly interesting, uh, is that it's thought to be engulfed by a global ocean under a thick crust of ice. In fact, it's got twice as much ocean as planet Earth. If we have a salty ocean in contact with a rocky core and energy from a variety of sources, as we just heard from Mary, we have many of the ingredients thought to be necessary for life. Scientists have discovered an Earth-like planet that's not too far away, at least in cosmic terms. It's the closest planet to our solar system and the most important discovery in more than 20 years, as it could be able to sustain life. Um, if it is life there, it's microbes. And um, so what we want to find out, what NASA wants to find out is if there's organic molecules there. All right, I'm an organic chemist, and if those molecules are there, that's the basis for life. And uh, we know there's water there. Question is, is it liquid water? Probably. Are we alone in this universe? It's a question that has haunted mankind for decades. And now a new spacecraft is on its way to find the answer. It's called the Europa Clipper. Scientists believe that below Europa's icy crust is a vast ocean of water. And where there's water, there is hope for life. Now to the age-old question of whether there's life on other planets. Because there's an ocean there. There's twice as much seawater on Europa as on Earth. Oh, because wherever there's an ocean, it looks, it, it's reasonable that there's living things, that there could be living things. Today, we have not one, but two scientific findings for you about oceans beyond Earth. What it discovered from its magnetometer is it flew real close to Europa was a magnetic signature that's very familiar with our scientists because we interpret it as a current within an ocean underneath an ice shell. Challenges for life on Europa. While the prospect of life on Europa remains tantalizing, there are significant challenges that make its existence highly speculative. First, the surface of Europa is harsh and inhospitable. Temperatures on the surface can drop to around minus 160 degrees Celsius, far colder than anything experienced on Earth. This extreme cold would freeze most forms of life found on our planet, making it difficult to imagine how organisms could survive at the surface level. Europa's lack of an atmosphere also means there's no protection from the intense radiation emitted by Jupiter's magnetosphere. This radiation is much stronger than anything we experience on Earth and would bombard any potential life forms, causing significant damage to their DNA and other cellular structures. However, beneath the thick ice shell, things are very different. The subsurface ocean, shielded from the harshness of space, could provide a more stable environment where life might find a way to flourish. The ice acts as a protective barrier, preventing harmful radiation from reaching the ocean below. But the ice itself presents its own set of challenges. With a thickness of up to 30 kilometers, it could make it incredibly difficult for life forms to emerge or for any scientific instruments to reach the ocean. Furthermore, the ice could also be a source of energy, but we have limited understanding of how the ocean interacts with the surface and how it could support life. Despite these challenges, the ocean's warmth, potential chemical nutrients, and protection from radiation give scientists hope that life might find a way to exist, even under extreme conditions. How Scientists Study Europa Studying Europa has proven to be a challenge, as its distance from Earth and its inhospitable conditions make it difficult to explore. Space agencies like NASA, ESA, European Space Agency, and others have been working on various missions to study the moon and its potential for life. The Galileo spacecraft, which orbited Jupiter from 1995 to 2003, provided crucial data about Europa's surface, atmosphere, and magnetic field. However, it was only able to make brief flybys of the moon, limiting its ability to explore the deeper mysteries. More recently, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope detected plumes of water vapor erupting from the moon's surface, suggesting that the subsurface ocean is venting into space. This has fueled excitement among scientists, 
as these plumes could provide a direct sample of Europa's ocean without the need for drilling through the thick ice. The upcoming Europa Clipper mission, set to launch in the 2020s, is one of the most ambitious missions aimed at studying the moon in detail. The spacecraft will conduct flybys of Europa, using a suite of instruments to investigate its surface, ice shell, and subsurface ocean. One of the key goals of this mission is to search for signs of habitability and potential life in the subsurface ocean. The spacecraft will also study the plumes more closely, trying to determine whether they contain organic molecules or other signs of biological activity. These findings could hold the key to unlocking the mystery of Europa's potential for life. In the future, researchers hope to send landers or even drilling probes to Europa's surface, allowing them to collect more detailed samples and investigate the moon's subsurface ocean in greater depth. Types of life that could exist on Europa Given the extreme conditions on Europa, scientists believe that if life exists, it is most likely to be microbial. Earth provides numerous examples of extremophiles, organisms that thrive in harsh environments such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents, acidic hot springs, and frozen environments. These organisms have adapted to life without sunlight, relying instead on chemical energy derived from the Earth's crust or the chemicals dissolved in water. On Europa, microbial life could similarly take advantage of the energy provided by hydrothermal vents or other chemical processes occurring in the subsurface ocean. Some scientists have speculated that the subsurface ocean could contain organic compounds and other chemicals, which might serve as the building blocks for life. These compounds could form through reactions between water, minerals, and chemical energy from Europa's core. While the specific conditions on Europa are still unknown, scientists have identified several potential habitats that might support life, including areas where the ocean comes into contact with the moon's rocky core, where hydrothermal vents might exist. These vents could provide the heat and nutrients required for life to survive in an otherwise frozen environment. Additionally, Europa's ice shell might allow for seasonal fluctuations in temperature, creating temporary habitable zones where life could persist. While more research is needed to confirm these ideas, the potential for life on Europa remains a compelling possibility. Europa in popular culture Europa's potential to host life has not only captured the attention of scientists, but also of science fiction writers and filmmakers. The moon has been featured in numerous works of popular culture, from novels to movies, where it is often portrayed as the home of mysterious life forms or the site of alien encounters. In Arthur C. Clarke's 2010 Odyssey 2, Europa is depicted as a location for a human mission to investigate strange alien structures beneath its ice. The moon's mysterious ocean, hidden beneath the surface, has become a symbol of the unknown, representing the possibility that we may one day discover that we are not alone in the universe. More recently, Europa has appeared in films like the Europa Report, which presents a fictional account of a mission to Europa to search for signs of life. These works, while fictional, help to bring the scientific possibilities of Europa into the public consciousness, highlighting the importance of space exploration and the search for extraterrestrial life. Popular culture plays a crucial role in shaping our perceptions of space and the potential for life beyond Earth. The portrayal of Europa in fiction serves as both inspiration and a reminder of the incredible discoveries that await us in the universe. The Role of Hydrothermal Vents in Potential Life On Earth, life flourishes in some of the most extreme environments, especially around hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. These vents release mineral-rich, superheated water into the surrounding cold depths, creating an environment where life thrives despite the absence of sunlight. Europa's subsurface ocean, though much colder than Earth's oceans, could share similar characteristics. Tidal heating, caused by the gravitational interactions between Europa and Jupiter, might generate enough warmth to power hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. These vents could provide the energy and chemicals necessary to sustain microbial life, much like Earth's vents sustain a rich ecosystem of bacteria, tube worms, and other organisms. The possibility that Europa's ocean might harbor such vents is one of the most exciting hypotheses in astrobiology. 
If hydrothermal vents exist on Europa, they could create localized hot spots where life, albeit microbial, might be able to survive. Additionally, these vents could potentially release organic compounds into the surrounding waters, offering a source of nutrition for life forms. The discovery of such vents would be a major breakthrough, as it would not only support the idea of life on Europa, but also expand our understanding of the conditions under which life can emerge. Even in the most remote and inhospitable corners of the universe, the ability of life to adapt to extreme environments seems to be a consistent theme. Exploration and Future Missions to Europa The exploration of Europa is one of the most anticipated aspects of future space missions. As mentioned, the Galileo spacecraft, which orbited Jupiter from 1995 to 2003, provided valuable insights into Europa's surface and atmosphere. However, this mission could only gather limited data from flybys. To fully understand Europa's potential for life, more direct exploration is needed. NASA's Europa Clipper mission, scheduled to launch in the 2020s, will be the next step in this endeavor. This spacecraft is designed to conduct detailed flybys of Europa, using a suite of scientific instruments to study the moon's surface, ice shell, and subsurface ocean. The primary goal of the Europa Clipper mission is to determine whether Europa has the conditions necessary to support life. The spacecraft will investigate Europa's icy surface in detail, looking for signs of plumes or other indications that the subsurface ocean is venting water into space. Instruments will also study the composition of the moon's ice, searching for organic molecules and other chemical signatures that could be associated with life. In addition to its flybys, the Europa Clipper mission will conduct detailed measurements of Europa's magnetic field, helping scientists to understand the structure of the moon's subsurface ocean and its interaction with Jupiter's powerful magnetosphere. Future missions may involve landers or even probes designed to drill into Europa's icy surface to access the subsurface ocean directly. Such missions could provide a wealth of information about Europa's potential for life and help answer one of the most profound questions in science. Are we alone in the universe? Europa's potential as a habitat for complex life. While microbial life is the most likely form of life on Europa, scientists have also speculated about the possibility of more complex organisms inhabiting the moon's subsurface ocean. In environments like Earth's deep oceans, complex ecosystems can thrive around hydrothermal vents where bacteria, plants, and animals coexist in a delicate balance. These ecosystems rely on chemosynthesis, a process in which bacteria convert chemicals like hydrogen sulfide into energy, which then supports higher organisms in the food chain. Could Europa's ocean support a similar process? Some scientists believe that the conditions on Europa could be conducive to the development of more complex life forms. If there are hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor, they could serve as a foundation for an ecosystem of increasing complexity. Over time, Simple organisms could evolve into more specialized forms of life, leading to the development of larger and more intricate life forms. However, this is purely speculative, as the harsh conditions on Europa make it difficult to predict how life might evolve in such an environment. Nonetheless, the idea of complex life existing on Europa remains a fascinating possibility and future exploration missions will be crucial in determining the actual potential for such life. The role of Europa in understanding astrobiology. Europa plays a critical role in the field of astrobiology, the study of the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. As one of the few places in our solar system where liquid water is thought to exist beneath a solid surface, Europa represents a unique opportunity to explore the conditions necessary for life to arise. Astrobiologists use Europa as a model for understanding the factors that might support life on other moons, planets, or even exoplanets orbiting distant stars. By studying Europa's subsurface ocean and its potential for life, scientists hope to learn more about the environmental conditions that are necessary for life to emerge and thrive. The discovery of life on Europa, or any other celestial body, would have profound implications for our understanding of biology chemistry, and the history of life on Earth. It would also help to answer one of humanity's most fundamental questions. 
Is life a rare phenomenon, or is it common throughout the universe? Exploring Europa's potential for life is, therefore, not just about understanding this one moon, but also about gaining insight into the broader processes that might govern the development of life across the cosmos. The Long-Term Vision for Human Exploration of Europa While current missions like the Europa Clipper are focused on scientific exploration, there is a long-term vision for human exploration of Europa. In the distant future, humanity may develop the technology to send crewed missions to Europa, where astronauts could study the moon up close and even attempt to access its subsurface ocean. This would present a massive challenge as the harsh environmental conditions on Europa would require advanced life support systems, as well as the ability to protect astronauts from Jupiter's intense radiation. The ice shell would also need to be penetrated, likely with specialized drilling equipment capable of withstanding the extreme cold. However, such a mission could yield unprecedented insights into Europa's potential for life. By sending humans to Europa, we would not only learn about the possibility of life beyond Earth, but also about the viability of human settlement on other planets and moons. The technology developed for such a mission could have far-reaching applications, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in space exploration. While this vision is still a long way off, the idea of humans traveling to Europa sparks the imagination and serves as a reminder of the potential for discovery that lies beyond our planet. Conclusion Europa with its subsurface ocean, icy crust, and potential for life, represents one of the most exciting frontiers in the search for extraterrestrial life. The conditions on Europa, while extreme, offer a unique opportunity to study the potential for life in environments vastly different from our own. From microbial life, surviving around hydrothermal vents to the possibility of more complex ecosystems, Europa holds many mysteries that are just waiting to be unlocked. As we continue to explore Europa with missions like the Europa Clipper, we will gain a deeper understanding of its potential for life, its geologic history, and its role in the broader context of the solar system. Whether or not we ultimately find life on Europa, the scientific discoveries made on this moon will deepen our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Europa's exploration is not just about understanding a distant moon. It is about understanding the broader conditions that make life possible in the cosmos and answering one of humanity's oldest and most profound questions. Are we alone?